Oh, hello to all my listening public. Oh, uh, to all my friends on Facebook. Oh, uh, happy Easter! And uh, uh, during this time of Easter, let us do the best we can to pray for our nation and pray that peace will return as soon as possible. And pray that God will remove this precedent from over our nation so that the government can go back to work, so that individuals can go back to work. I also thank all frontline workers who are braving the storm at this time to keep going to work to help our people who are sick and shut in, who are ill in hospital. But I come to tell you this morning that the Spirit led me a couple of days or uh, during this time of uh, a pandemic in the world at this time where everyone have to stay home. Uh, move for me to think about the uh, church that my family and I was in on the refugee camp in Ghana, Liberian refugee camp in Ghana. And it's, it has to do with issue of feeding. So we were on a camp, we knew what it is, you know, when you could not afford food for your uh, your children or for your family. And uh, um, uh, during the time, we rely on people uh, abroad to help, you know, and, and God made a way that people were able to help us. So, but when we came from, from the refugee camp in 2005, we were also able to get back and help other those who could help as much as we could and until we couldn't no longer do it. So God led me to feel this, uh, 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 my immediate family, my uh, Evelyn and I uh, decided that we would start a little uh, uh, feeding program uh, uh, on the refugee camp uh, on, uh, in the church that we came from. But I don't know why the Spirit led me at this time of crisis to do it. But wherever God had led me to do, Evelyn and I have decided that we will start in our later weak ways to help. Uh, we are already transmitted a little amount, and I've already asked former members of the Buduburam United Methodist Church. Uh, uh, on the Liberian refugee camp in Ghana to join me in making contribution to such a program at this very trying time. Uh, uh, we we ask people to help and we also I'm also asking uh, all of you my friends uh, who are on my page and, and, and love me and want to be a part of this little feeding program on the camp that uh, we're going to I'm going to Post the information. All donation to this feeding program will go directly to the pastor on the camp. And uh, I'm not going to receive any money for the feeding program. The only money I'm responsible for the one that come from Evelyn and I, my family. That's what we'll be responsible to send. All other donation will be done directly to the camp. I'm going to post the information that will uh, help you to know how to send money to Ghana which is very easy because the economy is very good there. So $25, $50 you know, you know, can help and you know, feed a lot of people. So uh, we will be able to put that information on by next week so that you'll be able to call directly you know, uh, on the camp and send the money to the pastor. And then we ask the pastor that they should make sure that all of the information will be recorded all of the distribution everything will be recorded and 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 and, and then posted on, on 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 my facebook page for those friends of mine who will help to and to see how your money is being used for this feeding program but if nobody come out we have decided that if nobody join us to do that we in our little uh cash that we have income that we have we're going to make sure to sacrifice certain amount to put towards that feed. But if we can even feed two or three people, that would be great. Just the idea to give a thought at this time where the Holy Spirit has led me. 
and, uh, and, and all this why is they didn't come to my mind. But why now? Because God is God calling and I must follow. So we're going to do the information and put it up. And then uh, we there will be transparency. That's why I said I'm not going to receive any money uh, for Canada. Uh, all money going to Ghana. You can go to Canada Post to any shop or drug marks. And just tell it I'm sending $50 or whatever you have to Ghana to this name. And that name, that money going to go direct to that person. When the pastor receive it, he going to, there will be an a, a email interaction where the pastor going to send your receipt for payment directly to your email. Especially for those of you who are in Canada. But we're going to post that information on my page. And then we're going to explain it later on how to carry out the process. My number will also be there. That if you don't understand anything or thinking about how to send help to the camp, contact me. I will take you through the drill. But uh, just remember that it's money grant, money grant at Shepherd Drug Mart at Canada Post, where everybody's do the transfer. So during this time of crisis, in the middle of crisis, and then in, during the time of Easter, we want to return the same favor that Jesus did for us. And this time the Holy Spirit moved for me to think about feeding refugee people who cannot afford. I get a report that the most of the, the people on the camp were turning into crime, crime in order to be able to feed themselves. The girls are turning into immoral activities, anti-social activities to be able to get feeding, which is so emotional to me. We cannot be, we're not able to help everyone, but the little that we can do. Let us do it. I just want to thank you this morning uh, for listening. And may you may you be blessed. Or may you be encouraged. And uh, because Jesus has called on us. During all his ministry. He catered to the poor. The disadvantaged. The less fortunate. In every society. Where he went to preach. In every Jewish neighborhood. In Israel. Let us follow the same path during the time of Easter. I just want to pray for you this morning. Dear God, may you help us to follow, to emulate the example of Jesus Christ when he on earth. May you, I also want to present all of my friends and those that will have the courage to help to send the cash on the camp to help the people to, to, to be able to fulfill copper rights to have a meal for the day. I pray in the name of the Father, Son, and the blessed Holy Spirit. I pray with thanksgiving. Amen.